Hey, what up? It's Will Maker. Today, I'm going to go over automation in Pro Tools. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing that I'm going to touch on are the modes. Now with the modes, you have off where you can turn off all the automation on the track. Read mode, which reads the existing automation. If you want to do hands-on automation, you can use touch mode. This will record the automation of a parameter when touched. Latch is like touch mode, but continues to write automation till you stop the playback. In touch latch mode, the volume fader works in touch mode and all other parameters work in latch. Write mode I stay away from completely. It's going to record the parameters of where they are or changes you make while writing your automation. You're basically creating automation the moment you hit record. Also to make sure that your automation parameters are set up, you come up here to window and come down to automation. And these are the parameters that are going to be on during your automation. First, I'm going to show you how to automate a send. And if you don't know how to set up a send, I got a video for that up here. I have my delay right here on my send and I've created my return right here. Now that my send is set up, I can come over here where it says waveform. Now I have access to level, level trim, mute and pan. I'm going to select level. Now you can either draw in your automation with touch or latch. I just drew in my automation, adding a delay to the last word of the verse. At any time, you can just highlight a section and you can just draw in your automation here. Delete by just highlighting and delete. This allows you to set up any reverbs or any other effects that you want to automate. Here's the example with the delay. We'll see how real I'll sack up against me when the game is on the line. Game is on the line. Game is on the line. Next, I'm going to show you how to automate a parameter of your effect. Next, you're going to come up here to this window, and now you can automate any of these parameters here simply by adding. Now, an easier way what you can do, you can just come over here and put your cursor over the parameter that you want to go ahead and automate. On a Mac, I'm going to hold Control Option Command, and then I'm going to click, and I'm going to enable automation for feedback. If you're on a PC, this is going to be Windows, Control, and Alt. Now, because I'm automating the feedback, I come down here to my delay track, and I can go ahead and select feedback. Now, once again, I can either draw this in, or I can use touch or latch. I'm going to go ahead and use touch in this case. So now I'm going to go ahead and just hit play, and I'm going to go ahead and do my automation. We'll see how real I'll sack up against me when the game is on the line. 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 Final way. And now you can see in playback, my parameter is automated. We'll see how real I'll sack up against me when the game is on the line. 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 Final way. So that's how I automate my effects and sends along with my individual parameters in Pro Tools. So if you like content like this, please feel free and like and subscribe. Other than that, peace out.